This is Racer X once again, and I wanted to do another video today because there was a little uh, some things that I wanted to share with you in shock oils, um, proper suspension, and how to make your front forks uh, a lot smoother on the rebound and on the compression. Um, once you're uh, done putting new shock oil in, in the front and you'll see in this video um, that I'll try to make short for you guys um, things are going to turn out a hundred percent better on your your shocks I've done so many shocks in my lifetime in RC racing since I was 12 I got really good at all this so I always come up with modifications uh, for all the stock shocks or upgraded shocks that the companies come out with for RC cars, motorcycles, and so forth. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my, here it is, my forks this way. Up inside here, okay, which is your shock tube for those of you who don't know what it is, um, you're going to have a ring like this. Okay, what that carbon composite ring is, is um, a guide ring. It basically keeps the guide of the, the uh, shock shaft in place and gives it a proper rake. Well, in this case, from Losi, the rake is not proper on the bike. Um, it's not 100%. I mean, it'll work, but it's not 100%. You will get binding. You will get all kinds of dirt and junk in there, and it'll just not rebound on you uh, if you use this ring. Um, in my opinion, and engineering and design and machining and so forth uh, that I do is uh, one of my things uh, for career and so forth. We usually do these in what's called Delarin. Delarin plastic, which is the best plastic you can get. Hmm. Sorry about that. It's probably a little fuzzy. Um, or in nylon, which is black nylon or white nylon. I know when we're racing European um, GP bikes that we use a nylon from Europe. Um, preferably Italy that is just super smooth super strong and lasts forever does not wear out um, and that's what Lucy kind of should have put in there um, on this situation so anyway um, getting more into this um, I took the ring out I no longer run the ring and uh, that was pretty cool it stood up um, I run this now which is an O-ring um, from Harbor Freight and Tool. You can get online, I believe, worldwide. Because mm, Harbor Freight and Tool is based in, in, I believe, China. And sells worldwide. So anyway, you can get a box of O-rings for about 6 $7 off the internet. Or if you can get to a Harbor Freight and Tool um, store. And it'll give you an assortment of O-rings. You will find that this O-ring here that I'm pointing at is the correct o-ring to put up into the shock body here once you've unscrewed it and pulled it down so you don't use this no more you just put one of these on in there instead and then go ahead and put your your uh, three-in-one oil or your WD-40 and three-in-one three in one oil mixed together on a q-tip get it all up in there so it's nice and lubricated really really good and then go ahead and screw your cap back on sorry about that um, screw your cap back on so it's locked and make sure it is locked then you go ahead and push your compression up and down on your front fork shock shaft and you'll see that it's going to be a lot smoother a lot faster it's going to keep all the dirt and grunge from going up into your shock tube. And it's just going to be just much more efficient. Much more efficient. And it'll last a long time. Um, with this here, you just get so much junk um, shoved up into it. Um, when you're running in dirt, mud, and grass, and whatever it is. It just binds the whole process of the shock. So putting one O-ring in there is good. The other thing that the o-ring is good for is when you when you hit the front end and you have that crash back release it actually gives it a little cushion on the inside so you don't bend 
the front fork, uh, depending on how you hit the front fork um, and what angles. But the O-ring will uh, pretty much um, protect um, the shock shaft and how it bounces back. So it's a plus plus situation and uh, it works very well. So I put one in here and then one on the other side and my suspension is so cushy. It's unbelievable. So moving on to the next thing. Um, as far as the shock oil, I run 35 to 30 in the, the front forks. Um, and it's, it's just really super smooth. Uh, I really enjoy it. it uh, it's really cushy, jumping off curbs, jumping, hitting bumps. You can really see the suspension working properly as it's supposed to. Okay, So you can also run 25 if you want. Uh, 20 would be kind of low, but uh, I would suggest like uh, 30 or 35 would be fine in the front. And then once your shocks break in like mine have, um, it's going to be super smooth and you're going to see the cush of it. And I, I might show you um, before the end of the video how cushy it is. Getting to the back end of the bike and the shock back here, you're going to need to go ahead and dump the oil out of there and you're going to need to um, put in 27 weight or 30 weight. Okay. You may even want to go 25 weight. It's up to you on how you run your bike, whether it be super motor or motocross. And those are the proper weights that you want to run. So once again, you want to run, I would say 35 or 30 in the front and 27 or 30 in the rear. And you're going to see how much better your suspension is going to be. Okay, a lot, lot better. Um, the weight that comes in the bike is 45 weight and 45 weight is the improper weight for the bike um, if you want to get serious about racing it or running it. Uh, if you're just doing ready to run and you don't care, then 45 weight will do because it'll keep it strong. But the rebound will not be pro uh, properly set. So before I finish this video, let me go ahead and grab the bike. I'll hold the camera. We're going to go out here to the driveway. I'm going to try and do this, guys, with uh, with one hand and holding holding the video. So, as you can see, I'm going to do two fingers here, see if we can do this. See how cushy that is? I'll do two fingers this way. See how cushy that is? Just beautiful, man, beautiful. And when you go to the front fork, let me try to straighten that out. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's see if we get a good angle here. So when you push on the front fork, see how cushy that is once again it's just like i'm just using two fingers i'm not using my whole hand the rebound is like perfect so i'm going to do it this way so i'm going to push down on it release it push down on it release it and then push it back down now i'm just using two fingers clamped onto the sides here and look how cushy that is it's unbelievable um how uh, perfect uh, the suspension turned out. So anyway, that's the end of another video. And uh, yeah, there's really not much more to tell about the bike. I switched from red to orange and I got white fenders coming and yeah, so on and so forth. Um, watch all my other videos. I got plenty of them for you guys. And the information I give you is 100%. It's not just hearsay. I know a lot of people like to just talk on YouTube. Um, I want to make sure... You guys are set up properly and enjoying your uh, motorcycle um, with Christmas coming and all that stuff. So anyway, this is Racer X. Peace out. Happy racing and be safe.